So in this video, what I'm going to do is show how to create a clipping plane inside of Geomagic Wrap. Um, so I believe there have been videos over the years explaining how to do this. Um, but I just figured I'd make a current one just to make sure everyone sees the basic ways to create these uh, planes. Um, so you see here that I have Geomagic Wrap open. And in case you're wondering what a clipping plane is, with a portable CMM like these guys, different devices there's a handful of different devices where this comes in handy where you either probe or scan a plane offset the plane up just a little bit and that way when you scan this object it'll automatically delete that data of the table so you don't have to crop it later that's what a skip uh clipping plane is um so we'll go ahead and get started so this i already have the plugin set for this uh pharaoh arm so what i'm going to do is just go ahead and hit scan and you'll see by default, I, it remembers that I did this before, but this is what it'll look like if you haven't had a um, clipping plane enabled, because this will remember the last clipping plane for you. But this is what it'll look like if you haven't had one yet. And what you do is you can just scroll down to these advanced options, and there's a couple different methods. The first way is we'll say add a scanned plane. So if I click that, it's expecting me to grab the arm and go ahead and scan the table. And I kind of scan around the outside of the object and it creates a plane. Now, once I'm done with that, I am ready to go ahead to enable this uh, clipping plane. So now I can see where that clipping plane is and I can go ahead and hit scan. So now, as I scan, it automatically crops the table out. So that is how you create a clipping plane with scan, by scanning the table. So I'll go ahead and just do a new file. Now I'm going to go ahead and probe one. So these are the hard probed objects. There's a gallery of things that you can hard probe over here. I'm going to go ahead and say, let's go ahead and probe a plane. And it, it does help, again, to kind of go around the outside, because if the table's super warped, you're kind of averaging it all out there. So I created a plane. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that and come over to scan. Now, instead of doing scan plane, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to select this plane from the drop-down and then make sure that it says enable and then hit scan. So now, just like before... I went ahead and created a clipping plane. Um, so that is how you create uh, clipping planes. And again, this will remember. So if you want to go in and out of it, you can have it as long as you don't move the part. Um, it'll remember that clipping plane. So also remember to turn it off if you want to create a new one. So that is a tutorial on how to do a clipping plane inside of wrap. 